what's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to update your Discord username when you eventually get access to it. If you don't already know, your username on Discord is your username hash followed by four random numbers. If you have Discord Nitro, you can choose those numbers as long as they're not already taken so you can't impersonate people. However, recently Discord have decided we're going to get rid of the numbers to make it more like Twitter and things like that, where you just have a unique username and that's it. So if you unfortunately have a username that's already taken, you'll need to come up with something else. But don't worry, it's different from your display name. You can have that as whatever you want in all of your servers as usual, as you can have nicknames on all different servers. But this is your account username, and I assume one of the options that people can add you with. So if I pull up my Discord here, you can see a bright yellow notification at the very top. Action needed, update your username. Now, if this is the first time you're opening Discord in a while, you'll probably also see a notification that looks like this in the center of your screen. Clicking get started here should take you to the same place as get started up here. Some unique usernames are easier to remember, true. You can also choose a display name to control how you appear across Discord, which is this username at the very top, similar to your nickname on servers already. And finally, Troubleshoot1337, which is my current username, will be memorialized as a badge on your profile. You can hide this at any time. That's pretty cool. So if you're a user with a Discord account before this update, you'll get this badge. If you create an account after this update, well, unfortunately, I don't think you'll get your username remembered. There's probably a little bit of time to create your account if you would like to get this badge. But beyond that, there's not much else you can do when the system is gone. All right, so changing your username. We can click Get Started here or in the pop-up. As you can see, it pulls up the pop-up. So why usernames are changing, you'll find this article linked down below. But I'll click Get Started here and we can choose a display name. So my display name will be simply Troubleshoot. Next, our username, I'll leave as Troubleshoot. I don't think you can have capitals. No, you can't. So I'll leave it as Troubleshoot. I'll click Submit here. And just like that, we'll need to confirm that we're human. So AI generated planets, I assume. It's probably it. And there we go. Our username is now chosen. I don't know why it's abbreviated it. I think that's to do with streamer mode. So I'll disable that. And assuming you don't get that pop up, or of course, time has passed, you can click user settings in the bottom left. And over here, you should see your display name as well as your username. You can edit your username at any time, though I would assume as soon as you change it, someone else can snatch your old username. So that is something to keep in mind. Display name, that can be whenever you want. You can change this at any time. It takes you over to your user profile here on the profiles tab rather than your account. So you can see here, my name is Troubleshoot and my account is Troubleshoot. Awesome. This is probably the best to leave it like this so that people know who I am and that I'm actually who I say I am. Although, of course, it still leaves the door open to similarly spelled names where L's are actually I's and things like that. But anyways, impersonation happens everywhere. When you've set this username, there's nothing else you need to do. That's pretty much that. It's a very small update, but a very significant one to say the least. If you have a somewhat generic username, you absolutely need to head there as soon as you get that pop up. It's incredibly important. Otherwise, someone else will snatch it from under your nose and that's that. Supposedly, they're rolling it out to the oldest users first. I assume Discord Nitro maybe gets some kind of a boost with that. But for the most part, the older the user, the sooner that they are going to get this update. And as you can see over here, I've got this badge originally known as Troubleshoot 1337, and that is forever memorialized. Even if Discord Nitro goes away, I'm pretty sure I'll still have this with my own customized number that's now forever stuck set in stone, which is pretty cool. If you edit your profile and edit your user profile, scrolling to the bottom, we can disable the legacy username badge ship should you want, and that'll hide the little hash, but I think it's pretty cool to leave them as it's an extra step of verification of people trying to speak to me. Can you disable it on a server by server basis? No, you cannot. It's either entirely off or entirely on, but that's pretty cool. Nonetheless, that is a Discord update for you. Hopefully you found this video useful, and I do wish you luck in grabbing your username of choice as they will be going fast, especially the shorter, unique usernames. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.